Let's talk about private education loans. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. Private education loans are there and available to help you close the financial aid gap. There are a number of different lenders available that fund private education loans. I typically refer to these as a last resort option when it comes to financial aid because of course you want to accept all of your free money and then the student should borrow a federal direct student loan before looking into other types of financial aid. There's also a federal parent plus loan that the government offers directly to parents that they can borrow on behalf of their students. But if you're being faced with financial aid gap that financial aid is not covering, borrowing a private education loan is an option. With these loans, students can borrow one in their own name, but they typically need a co-signer because of their age and limited credit if they're a dependent student. And also parents can borrow some of these private education loans in their name on behalf of the student. Now, the nice thing about these loans is that you can borrow the total financial aid gap. And what I mean by that is you take the cost of attendance of the college all in. So tuition, fees, room and board, books and supplies. Let's say that cost is $60,000. You subtract the financial aid that's offered to the student, which would be the scholarships and free money, uh, work study and the federal direct student loan. Once you apply all of that financial aid to the student's account and all of that cost of attendance, then there's what's left over that we refer to as financial aid gap. With a private education loan, you can borrow this total financial aid gap. So if the student receives a financial aid offer of $25,000, the cost of the college is $60,000, that means the student could borrow $35,000 in a private education loan, or the parent could borrow that amount in a private education loan. Now, a word of caution, I do want you to be careful about how much debt you get into because before you know it, you can be in a whole lot of debt. What I usually recommend is that you set up a payment plan directly with the college first. Most colleges, you can set up a payment plan for anywhere from nine to 10 months, pay what you can out of pocket, and then borrow the private education loan after that. Now, finding a private loan lender is when it can feel a little overwhelming and confusing. There are so many lenders out there and they all have different terms and interest rates. So it really comes down to you kind of shopping around and maybe applying for a different, a few different ones and seeing what they come back with and, and which one might be your best option. Personally, what I recommend is borrowing a private education loan through a credit union. They tend to have the best interest rates and terms that I've seen out there for any private education loan. And I actually partner with an organization where you can input your information and then they will shop around two or three different credit unions for you to determine what your options are. And then they'll send you that information and you can compare the terms and interest rates and see what your best option might be. In many cases, when I see students using this option and getting the comparison of a few different credit unions, the rates tend to be even better than like the Federal Parent Plus loan, depending on your credit. And as I mentioned, there are a lot of other private education loans out there, but credit unions have some of the best rates around. So if you're interested, you can find the link in the description of this video to use the organization that I partner with and have them do a little shopping around for you with some credit unions. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I offer a free initial 10 minute consultation call with anybody that I've never worked with before. You can schedule that directly through my website, thefafsaguru.com. And you can also learn more about the programs and services that I provide there.